Good morning, Lily Dell. Good morning. This is a day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. I pray that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart will be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. <clears throat> Today, my question to you is, do you have joy? Have you lost your joy during this time of COVID-19 pandemic and the constantly changing normal? We are commanded in scripture to rejoice always. Jesus wants us to know joy. He says in John 15, if you keep my commandment, you shall abide in my love even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in His love. I've spoken to you that my joy remain in you and that your joy might be full. He wants us to experience this joy that He gives us through our union with Him. Jesus' kind of joy is strong and it helps us to deal with the pressures and the stresses of life. Jesus is the vine and we are the branches. He is the source of our spiritual strength. And he allows us as believers to blossom and bear fruit for him. And we cannot do this if we are stressed out, angry, bitter, and always on edge. In Nehemiah the 8th chapter, after Ezra the priest had read the words of the law unto the people of Israel who listened attentively to him, they wept because they had not heard the word of God for so long. Nehemiah called that day, holy unto the Lord. The people were, that wept and mourned, he said to them to make a feast of wine and food and share with those who have not. Do not grieve, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Did you hear that? The joy of the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah. Every child of God should have contagious joy. Why contagious joy? Because joy should be spread like a virus to those who come in contact with you if they do not know the joy of the Lord. Amen. No one wants to share your misery but they will want to share your joy. Believe me. My brothers and my sisters, we are to live a life of joy like a birthmark or a birthright. It goes wherever you go because you are a joyful Christian. Do you recall the hymn? Joys are flowing like a river since the comforter has come. He abides with us forever. Make a trusting heart his home. And what about the song, This Joy I Have? The world didn't give it to me, and the world can't take it away. So let us not confuse happiness that is based on external circumstances that occurs in our lives and that can change momentarily. With joy, joy is born out of our union with Christ giving us a sense of inner peace and contentment and satisfaction, regardless of our circumstances. Finally, my brothers and my sisters, when the Apostle Paul wrote the letter to the Philippians, he wrote that letter with joy, but he was writing from a dark, dingy prison, not from paradise. But even from this place, he had joy, not because of his circumstances, but because he had Christ who gave him joy in spite of his circumstances. I encourage you today to maintain your joy by abiding in Christ, the true source of joy. God bless and keep you, and please remember to be a contagious joy for Christians, for the joy of the Lord is your strength.